Good evening, but first, the Attorney General's office says a CYFD worker demanded a bribe from a parent whose case he was overseeing. That now former CYFD worker is charged. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at CYFD headquarters in Albuquerque with that story. Rebecca? Well, Dean, we've learned the victim was under CYFD investigation two years ago when he filed a lawsuit against the state and his CYFD caseworker. And now his claims have turned into charges. CYFD is responsible for investigating people accused of harming children. But now a one-time CYFD employee is accused of using his position to extort money from someone the state agency was investigating. It all began when Edgar San Martin was arrested in Los Lunas in February of 2016. Deputies say his stepson showed up to school at Valencia Elementary School with belt marks on his back and bruises on his face. San Martin was then arrested for child abuse at his home in the Meadow Lake area near Los Lunas, where he lived at the time. CYFD took four children from the home and two were put in foster care. San Martin was then put in contact with Antonio Tapia, a social worker for CYFD. In this lawsuit San Martin filed in December of 2016, he claims Tapia told him, quote, everything went well with the grand jury and no criminal charges would be filed. But he told him he had to undergo a psych exam that would cost $750. The exam was actually free. He then claims the social worker told him he could give him the cash at a gas station on Old Coors. San Martin told the CYFD worker he didn't have the money and says Tapia then told him he'd get things done for $350. And when the father accused of abuse didn't pay up, he says Tapia threatened to say bad things about him in court. Although that lawsuit was settled, the attorney general's office found enough evidence to now charge Tapia for bribery, embezzlement, and fraud. CYFD says Tapia resigned in September of 2016, shortly before that lawsuit was filed. CYFD did not want to comment on the story beyond that. Dean and Jessica, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. The AG's office would not say if Antonio Tapia will be arrested or simply summoned to court.